works. Uh, and it, the talk will be about the, the sense of the musicians. Okay, and that's Saint Cecilia in Baroque painting in Portugal. Bom dia a todos. Eu, para tentar respeitar o tempo, vou uh, ler em inglês uh, e no final também uh, Saint Cecilia in Baroque painting in Portugal. Saint Cecilia is the patron saint of musicians and music, according to a debatable biographical account, which tells us that Cecilia heard the sound of divine music during a wedding feast. The National Research on Musical Iconography in Portuguese paintings that have been carried out in recent years and revealed a considerable number of examples with this geographic representation. The saint appears in the fiction strategically placed on corporate ceilings of synobiums, churches, chapels, that is in private and public collections. Starting from the representation of the image in seven typologies, we will list series lists of aspects related to air devotion, the sources, and models used in painting workshops in Portugal during those times. Saint Cecilia, third century, is the chef nobleman and Christian Martin in the medieval chronicle Passio Sancti Cecilia Virginia Martin de Romain. Uh, this epic narrative begins with a revelation. On her wedding feast, Cecilia revealed to Valerian the vow of chastity she had made with God. Hence, her husband, Valerian, understood that marriage, although legitimate, could not be consummated and accepted Cecilia's chastity, converting himself to the Christian faith through baptism. A specific passage of the passage clarifies that during the wedding and in the presence of an angel, Cecilia heard the sound of organs played by the heavenly court, raising her gaze to heaven and addressing a prayer to God, sang in the silence of her heart. Et cantanti vos organis in corde suo soli deum de cantabat isens. This passage and the theological misunderstanding, triggered by the words et cantanti vos organis, gave rise to the misinterpretation that Cecilia was herself a organ player. Once Tursio Marcus, the prefecto di Roma, discovered this, he persecuted Cecilia and condemned her to death. Cecilia was tortured with hot water and steam. Not to come into the pain, she was beheaded with three blows of the axe and died on the third day of agony. On 20th October 1599, as described by Bossuch, Cecilia's body was found incorrupt uh, when her tomb was opened at the Basilica of Transtevere in Roma. And we have this image in the Bossu uh, 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 book. And then sculpted by the famous uh, sculptor Stefano Maderno. The geographic legend has been included in some compilations as of the third century, such as in the Golden Legend, Golden Dorado, the Maoria of Voragin, but excluded from other famous metallurgy records, like the Geron of Prague. Then some words related to devotion to Santa Cecilia. During the Italian Renaissance, the Congregazione dei Mugiti, a school destined to a sponsor sacred music musician then composer visiting in Rome, has founded later many others in Europe. In Portugal, see, for instance, the establishment 
of the Irvandad Santa Cecilia, the convent of the Spirit Santa of Taylor in Lisbon, in the beginning of the 17th century. Or in Porto, music teachers founded the Irvandad Nossa Senhora da Presentação in Santa Cecilia. According to the scripted memory presented in that document, the feast in order, honor of Saint Cecilia lasted for three days and culminated on uh, November 22nd and included chants, mass, sermons, processions, and solemnizations at the band's staff. Many other examples, including the sermons, but there is another narrative. Finally, some words are related, related to the iconography of St. Cecilia and the seven representations. The famous picture of the presentation of St. Cecilia, surrounded by saints, dates back to the 1518. It is a major work of Rafael Sanzio, commissioned by the aristocrat Elena de Leon. The painting presents Cecilia in ecstasy. At the top, the Musica Suelestis. A choir of six angels singing with open book. Just below, Saint Cecilia is surrounded by four figures Saint Paul, Saint John the Evangelist, Saint Augustine, and Saint Maria Magdalena. From Cecilia's hand comes out the portative organ, already dismantled, in an allusion to human music, that is, to the end of ephemeral and earthly joys to focus their gaze on music. Of Musica Celestis, arranged, arranged around the floor and painted by another hand, the Musica Instrumentalis, passion, wind, and stringed instruments without strings or broken. In Portugal, based on the field research we have conducted in recent years, we propose a division of Santa Cecilia iconography in painting into seven types of representation. One, the martyrdom, second, the ecstasy, third, alone, seated and playing a key or strange instrument, alone and standing with a music, uh, music book in hand or playing, uh, fifth, playing a musical instrument accompanied by one or more angels or uh, with a second, another second figures, six, Santa Cecilia uh, in the celestial court in. Uh, themes, uh, Christological, Marian, Scatological, or Biographical themes, or uh, as a professional or amateur female musicians portrayed or self portrait as Santa Cecilia. Let's see uh, some specific paintings of the corpus. During the Baroque period, we don't have uh, image related to the first and the second. It, it, that is uh, related to the ecstasy and martyrdom. So, the the third typology, uh, this case is the third typology, sitting alone with a musical instrument, see in one of the panels from the extinct convent of Saint Anne in Coimbra, nowadays displayed in the church of Oye, uh, Abay. The patron saint is wearing a green brocade dress, a red mantle with a short and delicate sheer wheel covering a head. On her neck, she wears a necklace and on each finger a ring. She looks at us while she plays the organ, of which only part of the keyboard and pipes can be seen. Another example, the coffered cells that make up the secrecy decoration of the hotel church in Vanessa. Santa Cecilia seated three quarters of the way to the right, playing a positive organ and gazing of words, implying the presence of God. Below, the self portraits of the painter and the image of Santa Cecilia. Another example in the choir of Visio Cathedral, where there is an organ, and Santa Cecilia uh, with loose hair plumped uh, with flowers play an organ, sitting or Engraving by the Renaissance nice Dutch artist Jacob de Gaia, as you can see. The first uh, representation is depicted in a few examples. One of them is a mural painting in the extinct convent of Chardes in the Lavisosa, nowadays an auto, a five star auto, 
Cecilia is telling all the fancy portative organ with part of the two rows of pipes visible. A fifth the representation concerns the depiction of Santa Cecilia accompanied by an angel or a nun, who sometimes only listen to the melody coming from the instrument played by Cecilia, the dexterous musician. This is a portrait in the edge ensemble of portrait panels painted in oil and wood. Located in the nave of the church of San Pedro de Camela, where among the other figures, Cecilia accompanied by an angel playing an organ with two keyboards with the inscription Saint Cecilia at the top right hand side. It is a copy of Peter Paul Rubens. Here, the, the engraving and the invert engraving. As I said, uh, sometimes a nun. This is the case of the monastery of Baroque. The pipe organ case has painted image of Saint Cecilia, a lower than ornament with jewels. She plays the keyboard of an organ and directs her gaze towards heaven instead of paying attention to the pseudo geographic musical paper in front of her. The organ below are played by a nun. In the rural painting, see the private chapel in Villa Vissosa, where the date uh, uh, 1711 appears inscribed. The image represents a Cecilia with loose hair and thrown with flowers on the time, sitting in front of her, an organ. Although she was a book with two open music sheets in front of her, with imperceptible in notation, she looks up to the air on the time. Where there is an angel choir consisting of a lute, a player, another angel holding the music, maybe singing, and two carrots. At the base of the composition, there is an inscription that reads Pentantibus Organis Sicilian Cantabat, which has already been mentioned and alluding to a wedding. Finally, the seventh representation concerns woman represented or self-portrayed as Santa Cecilia in an allusion to the feminine and virtuoso talent for music. This is a case of the lorical portrait of singer Luisa Rosa Olivia, Luisa Todd, represented as a muse in the eighth image of Santa Cecilia. She's crowned with laurel, playing a lyre and dressed like a Roman, and looking up to the heaven one more time. Uh, implying the presence of the divine master. There is about 100 images of Santa Cecilia, and uh, we have the, the model and the source uh, used uh, by the workshop of the atelier, uh, for instance, in a private collection in Sludge Edition, because we have a copy of uh, the paper of the Great Gene. To conclude, Santa Cecilia is a perfect example of a Christian woman for her virtues and chastity uh, in a image like Our Lady. Because of that, there is no surprise that we can see a relative proliferation of Sicilian iconography strategically painted on concrete ceilings in public and private snobbings. Third, the sources and models used by workshops in Portugal include other paintings and engravings, and of course, the epic literature. And lastly, um, according to the National Survey on Iconography related to Santa Cecilia that we have conducted, we suggest associating an image with seven types of representation, although two of them, martyrdom and ecstasy, had no expression in Baroque painting, but in 19th and 20th century. Thank you. We have more time, but just one more question. Yeah. A quick one. Yes, it's a lot of fun. Um, you, you've got into some of the, 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 the,
e, e também tens a parte fotográfica do livro, do, do livro uhum. de forma formidável, uh, que na Santa Cecília pode aparecer, obviamente, mas sem parte dos produtos de tecla, porque os, os verdadeiros não são considerados ou brilhados. E aqui eu penso que a questão é do retrato da Luísa Cláudia, assim, mais quase como uma exposição, de titular as, musas, as musas, claro, uma exposição, uma transmissão no feminino, de uma, de uma pessoa tão empoderada, uma cantora tão empoderada, que ela própria é a sua função de pouco a articular as artes das, das musas. Eu aqui vejo um pouco de desconexão com uma dimensão. Mas pronto, é, é um pouco a minha opinião e, obviamente, é, é discutível. Eu sabia que era polémica a pergunta do Pedro, <risos> mas trouxe sempre aqui porque uh, ouvi atentamente o que disseste, mas parece-me que pode haver aqui uma apropriação da imagem de Santa Cecília, precisamente que vai buscar uh, a imagem das musas da Paula, que vai atrás buscar, tal como temos várias outras apropriações, mais para a frente, na, na planeta cinográfica, o saco, que vai buscar os momentos de sangue e se apropria deles e lhe dá uma nova roupagem. Mas sim, <risos> é só um opinião. <risos> Obrigada. Thank you very much for the presentation.